501453 Universal General Description of Gland The 501453 Universal comprises five major components, these being the back nut, middle nut, reversible armor clamping ring, diaphragm seal and armor spigot complete with cable guide and the entry component with captive deluge seal. This cable gland accommodates all types of elastomer and plastic insulated cable, incorporating all types of armor or braid, the most common being single wire armor, W, and wire braid, X. In addition, this cable gland is suitable for cables which exhibit cold flow characteristics. Assembly instructions are supplied with each cable gland. Please refer to these for further instructions on cable preparation and installation. Cable preparation. Allow sufficient length of cable to enable termination of the conductors into the junction box. Strip back and remove the required amount of outer sheath and armor or braid to enable connection of the conductors to the terminal. Remove a further 20 millimeters of outer sheath for cable glands from sizes OS to C and 25 millimeters on cable gland sizes from C2 to F. Cable gland installation. Fit the ingress protection or IP washer if required onto the entry thread and fit the entry component into the junction box, hand tight using the enclosure thread or lock nut. Using a spanner or wrench, tighten until resistance is felt a quarter to a half turn nominal. Pass the back nut, middle nut and reversible armor clamp or RAC over the cable making sure that the RAC is positioned in the correct orientation for single wire armor, tape or braid with the arrowhead indicating the correct armor or braid type pointing towards the equipment. Spread the armor or braid by gently pulling it away from the inner sheath of the cable. A screwdriver may be required for larger sized cables. The cable is then pushed through the diaphragm seal. This action is aided by the use of a pre-fitted cable guide that removes the requirement to tape the conductors and is disposed of once the cable has passed through the seal. The diaphragm seal can be rolled back to ease assembly and pulled down the cable until the ends of the armor or braid are against the shoulder of the armor spigot. Push the cable through the entry component, bring up the armor clamping ring and position over the armor or braid. Then, bring up the middle nut and hand tighten onto the entry. Finalize by tightening the middle nut by a further half to three quarters of a turn with a spanner or wrench to make off the armor clamping assembly. Unscrew the middle nut from the entry component and visually inspect that the armor or braid has been effectively clamped between the armor spigot and the armor clamping ring. Reassemble the middle nut onto the entry component and hand tighten. Using a spanner or wrench, tighten by a further one-sixth of a turn to finalize assembly to the entry component. Bring up the back nut and hand tighten until it forms a seal around the outer cable sheath. Using one spanner or wrench, hold the middle nut in position whilst finalizing the tightening of the back nut by a further complete turn with another spanner or wrench. The 501453 Universal Cable Gland has now been correctly installed. Please note the cable acceptance details and sizes are marked on the back nut, clamping ring and diaphragm seal.